Don't be scared to ask any question about anything that you're feeling because this is about your soul, you know. Um, we are student teachers, we're only doing our best, but we have contact with a master teacher, you know. So if there's any questions or things that we are not able to answer or address, he's still alive, even though he's been incarcerated, wrongfully kidnapped, and, um, you know, our job is to get him, go ahead, brother, is to get him out as soon as... No, use the mic so people can hear you. Yeah, I just wanted to know what is he incarcerated for? Right. He's been incarcerated really for putting out this information. He thought for years that it was something else because they make up lies like they do with all of our teachers. Anybody that has ever come to this planet in terms of like trying to, um, you know what I mean, liberate us as a people and put information out. Not just even our, if every other leader, even if you look at like um, even Jesus or, do you know what I mean, Muhammad, all of them got killed. Like Muhammad got poisoned. Um, Jesus, as you know, of course, got nailed on the cross. They made up allegations, made up lies um, and, 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 and put him in jail for recall. The thing about the case is many people don't or haven't taken the time to study the case. Most people know about it through hearsay, you know what I mean? And um, if you want to learn about the case as much as possible, you can go on freedoctoryork.com. We have a legal team and we have people that have been working on the case for over 20 years and they know the case very well. But they tried to say, I'm just pulling up this, this um, slide because every single leader that you see on this slide, right, was persecuted, slandered, um, and it killed if they could, imprisoned. So they've got something called Cointel Pro, which their whole thing was fear of the, the Messiah, because they knew and they know that this time was going to come, where one was going to come, as I read in my introduction, to remind you of who you are, because it's already encoded in your DNA, yeah? Our ancestors, who are the Natharu, they knew this was going to happen in this day and time. So they sent him to come and raise us up. And he's been doing that by answering questions and writing over a thousand books. So they trumped up charges and said that he was transporting miners across state boundaries with the intentions of doing something which he never did. Now... They, they made it about children because they know that when you deal with anything to do with children, it emotionally affects people, yeah? Um, and so you will hear on the internet, you will hear people using words like molestation and ch to do with child abuse and all this kind of stuff. None of that is in the case. None of that has been ever proven. They don't have any DNA. They don't have any, they said they were watching him and, you know, when you're, when you're accused of something, they would have, like, the FBI had surveillance watching him for years. Yet, in the case, they don't have no video footage, they don't have no, they don't have no evidence whatsoever. But what they did is they used the public and, and used the media to try and slander and, you know what I mean, let him be made to look like he was guilty when he's not and over the years the facts have been coming out of the people who did certain things which they tried to put on him but if you look at this poster every single person you can see on there whether it was Markham X, Martin Luther King, um, Noble Drew Ali, um, Marcus Garvey, Haley Selassie, um, you know Ben Yahweh, all of them, all these people all these black leaders, they were looking for the person that they thought was going to be the, the, the Messiah. Just like in the Bible, when Herod thought that, they were saying that this new child is going to be born, he's going to be the king. And he was very like scared because he was like, how are you going to come to my kingdom and don't come and give me any respect? I'm talking about the three wise men and go to go and give homage to this little boy that's being born. And he wanted to kill everyone because he was like afraid that his his throne was that you know is going to be a threat. So it's the same thing. They set up this organization called Cointel Pro 
to look out for any black messiah or any person that's going to come and free us and they eliminated everyone but the difference is with Dr York he was not one of those leaders that just put himself on the top he taught everyone so it's kind of too late because his information has been out there for, for years and there are many, many leaders. So did that answer your question? Yeah. 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 So they, they basically trumped up charges. RICO deals with racketeering and criminal activities, which was really brought about to deal with the mafia. You know what I mean? Mafia, the mafia organizations like back in the 60s and, and America. Is that RICO? Yeah, RICO. But anyone who really wants to know the truth about what's going on, they have to research and look into the case and use their own mind. Don't go by the media and go by hearsay. Because people will be like, the white man's the devil, they do all of these things, they've killed all our leaders. And then when they're lying on him, all of a sudden, some people want to accept what the same person you're calling the devil is telling you, which doesn't make any sense.